I'm Random Trashy and welcome to my Airsoft channel. I had a delivery today from the guys over at Optics Planet based in the US uh, and this is the Armour Sight Spark Claw Night Vision. This is going to be a very quick video of the unboxing just to show you what comes with um, the night vision unit itself. Some statistics about the night vision and anything else that's associated with it or that comes in the box. I will be doing a full review on these, so you know, hang tight if you are after some information on these. I know that within the Airsoft community they are something that a lot of questions are asked about. Now, just very quickly and why I bought this, I read about 300 reviews, if not more, on this unit itself. I compared it to, you know, cheap NV units from Unicorn. Um, the, uh, the NVG guys like they've got a lot of units on there and there's a ton on Optics Planet if you want to go and have a look you know up to the sort of five six hundred pound budget um, there's hundreds of devices this one was the one that really shone through for me um, I really need to check it before you know I, I, I give a proper in-depth review myself so um, let's just get the unboxing on the way we'll go through some of the specs of it and I will be posting a full review once I've got my hands on the device uh, a little bit more so you know if you are interested in information on this please feel free to drop me a message uh, and keep your eyes peeled to the channel for an upcoming video so I received this um, in total from Optics Planet it cost me £308 that was with their Christmas delivery um, offer that was free delivery which was $43 uh, free so I saved about £30. The import VAT duty on this, um, I don't know if you guys can see this label on the front of here but it just says customs postal charges, import duty zero, exercise duty zero so it means that the package wasn't inspected. Um, the only thing that they've put uh, a customs charge on was for the VAT and that was 61.56. so in total it's cost me about £380 um, and compared to these are selling in the UK for um, five, six hundred pounds, dependent on where you look, uh, it's still a pretty decent deal. So let's get into the unboxing. I've just got a small little knife here. Let's just open this up. Just trying not to damage any of the major packaging. So it's boxed up really nicely. Uh, it's got loads of protective padding and stuff in here just to stop the, the package from wobbling around a little bit. So we've got the invoice and that's got my address on it so let's tuck that out of the way um, and then you've got the boxed up unit itself uh, and some cards and stuff in that box for 10% off. So here's the, the box for it, I'll just try and focus in on that a little bit. So I think I'll have to hold it back here to get focused. Um, so I just cut the label here, just got some basic uh, photos of people using the different devices. There's no actual information on the outside of the box, like stats or statistics about the device. So let's just pop this open. Here we go. So let's just put this box down. Um, Got a battery here, cleaning lens and manual, uh, and it comes in this really, actually really, really nice quality molly pouch in OD green. Got all your moulds and everything on the back for attaching that to a vest or backpack or inside any sort of luggage that will take moulds. Uh, the, the quality of this is actually really, really nice and I thought it would be quite cheap. Uh, there's a front pocket on here, so just to store stuff in, I guess this would be great for spare batteries or anything like that. And you've got a little bit of Velcro across the top for any kind of um, tags or anything like that. Just get it to the device itself, it's uh, wrapped up in this red bubble tape. Really nicely done actually, really nicely packaged up. Uh, obviously it's going to protect, protect this unit in any sort of transit. Let's get into this and get it open. Okay, awesome. So it's very, very similar material to the PSV14 or the PSV7. It's almost like a very, very hard polymer. Uh, the unit probably weighs about two to three hundred grams, I would say, just offhand. Um, but I will go through the stats on the full review. It's got a nice rubber cup eyepiece um, and adjustment lens here for focal. Um, and then you've got your three stage switch here, and that is for um, off, on, and obviously susceptible to infrared. 
Uh, you've got your attachment parts here for the Picatinny rail. And um, first impressions of this is it looks like a real solid quality unit. Um, really nice, feels really sturdy in the hands. There's no play in this unit at all, like some of the cheaper MV that you can get out there. Um, I don't want to take any of the lenses off it because that can actually damage night vision um, if you expose it to bright light, even if the unit's not switched on. So what I will do is do a full review of this in the days to come. Uh, I'll take it out in some pitch black and sort of see what sort of pictures I can get with it. Now, I actually film with a Canon uh, DSLR um, and it's a... 5D I think um, yeah so I don't think I'm going to be able to attach this to this lens at all to be able to get any footage but I will try and use my iPhone uh, to get some nighttime footage of this so you guys can see the sort of quality that we get so that's a very brief unboxing of the um, Armasite Spark Core um, I will do some more reviews on this if you have any questions I have done a ton of reading up about this device so please feel free to uh, drop some comments in the box below and I will get back to you as soon as possible um, just on other news, I've got a ton of stuff to review. Uh, I've got some sleeping gear, I've got some cold weather sleeping gear. Um, I'm just looking around the room at all the stuff I've got here. Uh, I've got my Amoeba to do a full review of. Now I've been using that gun for the last few months and that thing is amazing for the money. Um, outshoots most guns that I've seen out there and I've got a few guys with Celsius and Sistema reps um, and I would say that that is on par for less than a third of the price so tons of stuff to review loads of videos coming um, I hope you all had a great new year um, and let's look forward to 2015 together reviewing and showing off a ton of really nice airsoft kits so thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all soon mm -hmm.